The reason why I wrote the book last year for myself, and I was to gain credibility. What we, Estradita and myself, my wife, we work with single parents and working couples, helping them, help them find, help them create family plans to balance the work and family. What I want to do, I want to do a thousand books. You never, 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 never make more books than you can save. So I figured, hey, I could sell a thousand books. Typically, I talk about these large publishers, the ones who typically make money, they usually do a run between 3,000 to 5,000 books. They print three to 5,000 books for, I call it the or beginning the author. They usually print 5,000. And, get, and they're lucky if they can sell 1,500 books. Okay, and understanding your audience, what marketing strategy would you focus on? Can you give us an idea of your marketing strategy? It starts with understanding your audience. In terms of you writing, a, you, you wrote a book because you did this is upfront planning. You, you already wrote a book that you're solving the problem, you understand your audience and what they need. It goes back to do, do you do a, a paperback book, a hardback book, do you do a DVD, or do you do a CD? It goes back to being, being aware of what, of what your audience needs. From there, you have to decide what method works. You know, in terms of we've already found the publisher, we've already got a book published, but then we have to understand is where, 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 would, where would these individuals go to the marketplace? This is what we call distribution channel. We have to determine what, where, where are we going to sell our books. And one of the problems that we have a lot of times, authors say, I want my, I want my book in Barnes and Nobles. And I say that's nice, but the reality of it is that there are over 60,000 books being published a year. And no one bookstore can handle all those books. And so they have to, you know, there, there's, a, there's a process, there's a strategy to get into those bookstores. But it takes a lot of commitment, a, a lot of time. So it goes back to, you know, are they willing to, to make the commitment in doing that? And that's really one of, the, one of the key things in being successful in, in marketing is that you have to be committed. And most individuals, and this is one of the things we really hadn't covered yet, but there's a great myth out there, and I want to clear it up right now. There's a myth that individuals believe, if I, if I write this great book, that they will come. And the reality is, they may not come, because you have to do, do the homework. You have to do the work. And a lot of times, people get on with a major publisher, say, Random House, and they still have the same lack of success. You know, don't go out and say, I'm going to do 25,000 books. If you, if you can't sell 25,000 books, I knew this lady, my publisher that was, that was dealing with, she did, children, she did a children's book. Oh. She had 1,000 books, she got finished, beautiful books, and they're in, they're in her basement. Because she went to Barnes & Nobles, and Barnes & Nobles said, uh, she said, I want to I wanna sell you my book. And they said, give us 40%. She took a book and left. You got you to give up something. Mm -hmm. And I've actually given books away. Because I know the marketing that if they read the book, they'll spread the word. It seems that there's so many challenges out there with uh, marketing or even publishing your book. Give me a step-by-step -step, or give the audience a step-by-step -step, um, approach to how they would go about marketing a nonfiction book. And in terms of being a successful a successful published author, I think you need what I call the four, four, my four P's. And my four P's are basically you have to have passion. You have to really enjoy what you're talking about. Because if you don't have the energy, you don't have the energy and, 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 and be energized by the message that you take, how can, how can your audience be? So you need, you need passion. You also need to be persistent because the marketplace is bombarded with 3,000 market matches a day. So you have to be persistent. You also have to be patient. A lot of times we see in industry through the ages that you have a great product, but the timing is not right. So sometimes you have to be patient that maybe you're ahead of the game, that, that maybe the audience will, will come along. And the, and the last one I want to mention is sometimes you need prayer. Why do I say prayer? I'm not talking about really you know, a religious standpoint, but from the standpoint of that a lot of things that you have in life are outside of your control. And so if, if I'm persistent and I'm passionate about what I have control over, and I know it's not all about me, you know, there's some higher power, and I believe in God, that, that dictates that, 
then I, I think we're, we're very happy. But you have to be committed. And that's one of the things that, that I see a lot of authors have a myth that they have a great book, they have a great art, they have a great publisher, but they lack the success. It's because they're not, they're really not committed to. Uh, I'm, I'm market, I'm marking my books every day I get up. I'm, I'm, t I'm talking about something that, 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 that focuses on making better decisions. Because I believe if you can improve your decision making, you can improve the quality of life. So I'm promoting my book along the way. So much free stuff in terms of, of marketing and promotions that I kind of hesitate when people start talking about advertising. Now I've done some advertising, but by far the biggest bang for the book is getting, getting publicity. For example, if, you, if you're reading the Shreveport Times, the Times, and you see an ad that said for somebody's book, or you see an article, which are you going to tend to look at? Are you going to look at the ad or are you going to look at the article, the feature that's done on the article? Most people look at that. They don't look at the ad. So that's why it's, it's better to have free publicity. Another thing, one of the things I, I tell them is get on the talk shows. I've gotten on most of the talk shows in our local area. I've, I've done them all. But what's, that's what I had to do. I had to call them up and say, hey, I have a good idea. You know, we're dealing with families. And they're, and they're receptive. Because you have to understand, those people need to get information to the people. And you represent the community. And they don't see a whole lot of us of color. And, and one of the things I tell them, I say, there are 365 days in a year. What are you going to talk about? And so you have, you're helping them. One of the things I mentioned about being an unabashed author, that you have to push your book. You have to, not your book, but your ideas. You have to push to the individuals and look for opportunities. And one of the things that I realized, that you're dealing with newspapers. You know, small newspapers, a lot of them don't have writing staff. And so what I talked to my wife, we write an article for our local paper in Knoxville. We write it and gain a lot of publicity. Can you answer or give the audience um, an idea of how they could build their readership as an author? First off, you have to have publishing goals. You have to have publishing goals and you have to visualize what does success look like. So that's my desired outcome. That's what I call my step two. Then one of the things that most people don't have in the publishing world is what we call benchmark. You need to look at other successful books and see how they became successful. That's why I call benchmark. And so look at other related books and see how they have become successful. The Chicken Soup guys, they market 365 days. They were going at 4 o'clock in the morning, they were doing marketing. They were answering phone calls, doing seminars. And I think you have to have that same kind of, of outlook. One of the other things that most people don't do have a deadline. They don't have a deadline in terms of, of getting things done. You need to have deadlines. You also have to develop the right kind of marketing strategy based on, I mentioned, the, the four P's of marketing. That marketing mix, what are some of the things that, that your audience want in terms of doing that? And also, if, you get, if I had a lot more time, we'll be getting into what we call SWATs. I would look at my, my product in terms of, you have to look at what are your strengths in going into the marketplace, what are your weaknesses, you know, we look at the trends, what are the opportunities, and what are the, the threats perhaps. There's another book that's on, on, online, what are those things you need to do? So developing a marketing strategy, also having a schedule of activities that you're going to do, and having, like I said, go back to looking at feedback. You got a book that's in the marketplace, why people aren't, aren't buying it? Or if a lot of people buy, I have, I have friends that are in the publishing world in terms of, of published authors, and what I'm finding out that they're selling a whole lot of books, but they don't even know why. And I ask them a question, have you polled, have you polled, have you surveyed your audience? And they tell me no. I say that's, that's the way you can improve yourself. And I always talk about building long-term relationships. Now my goal is not to have a one, be a one-hit wonder. You know, the goal is to have long-term relationships. For me, it's 25,000 people that embrace what I'm doing. For you, it might be a million people. So we have to be very focused in our, in our, in our process. 